Welcome everybody to our first NPC race. You guys, the viewers, are gonna choose which NPC you think is gonna win the race and take it all home. Let's meet our competitors. Our first competitor here, my boy Jacob, the guide, coming all the way from Terrariaville. <laughs> we got our second competitor here, Gilbert, the merchant. We got our third competitor, Nissa, the dryad. And of course, last but not least, Takanis, the goblin with the glasses. Is that what they're called? As you can see, each NPC has their own racetrack that they're gonna go through. And the goal is to make it to the end, you know, where the checkered flag is and hit the button, launch the fireworks. That's how we'll know that they made it to the end. So go ahead, you the viewers right now, choose who you think is gonna win and be honest with yourself, all right? Cheating is not fun. You get nothing out of it bes besides winning, but it's still not that fun, all right? So choose who you think is gonna win. You know, I'm gonna be honest here, okay? I'm gonna choose. The game fucking crash. It is time for our race to begin. Let's do it. Three, two, one, go. Off to an early start. The merchant and the dryad quick. Now, NPCs, they have a mind of their own. They can literally do whatever they want. And, you know, whoever wants to move forward and actually progress or who wants to walk backwards and actually not progress, it's up to them. It's really up to them. And the Dryad did not hit the fireworks. It is the Golem, so that does not count. As you can see, though, the only person that's actually moving is the Dryad. But she's not exactly moving in the direction you want her to. <laughs> she is just making it harder for herself, summoning in more Golems. Luckily for her, they only do seem to do one damage. I have no idea why. The Merchant got... Oh, the Merchant moving and the Goblin moving. Right when I was about to start talking about them. But they're having second thoughts. They're having second thoughts. The Goblin and the Merchant both trying to walk back trying to digress that's not the right word trying to revert their progress the merchant very very close to the end same thing with the goblin tinkerer oh my god the goblin tinkerer just needs to move forward a little bit and he can secure the w same thing with the merchant it's a race to the end and the goblin tinkerer takes round one in finish line fashion oh my god that was very very close right at the end you would think the dryad with the great start that she had would be able to finish it but no she's she's really stupid she's still s tier waifu though all right we are moving on to round two of four rounds we're gonna take the winner from each round and we're gonna put them all against each other in the end so let's meet our contestants for round two starting with jamal the arms dealer pip the clothier tweed the tax collector and of course destiny the party girl interesting names very interesting i don't think i've ever heard any of those names before from uh, the tax collector and the clothier but uh i'm ready let's see who's gonna make it to the end first three two one it begins now if i were to guess i would say the party girl you know she's full of energy she'll make it to the end first but jamal already proving me wrong going through the first racetrack also known as piston highway oh the claw the air pip the claw the air is moving at great speeds but here comes the party girl like i said that bottom track seems to always contain the winner okay i guess not she's just gonna stand there and pip the claw the air is moving in quickly he's moving in quickly while jamal is also moving just as quick pip he's so close he's so close let's take a look at the tax collector though he has not moved an inch jamal pip and the party girl are so close pip going for the win and he gets it pip no competition it seems like not even anyone else wanted to try once they got to that last half and uh congratulations to pip for moving on to the finals we are now moving on to round three where some modded npc contestants will be able to try their hand at the racetrack let's go ahead let's meet some of them starting with amadeus the sea serpent no i have no idea what this npc is called but i'm amadeus welcome moving on to uh, patricia the grandma i hope she doesn't break anything while doing this race moving on to is steven the diver man and last but not least erect the cactus person all right the race will begin in three two one and they're off now i'm gonna guess that patricia the grandma old but fragile but i have hopes in her that she can win this competition we see that her and erect are going straight for the end now a lot of npcs on that bottom racetrack it's probably the easiest one but they just freeze up right when they get to that last third last half of the racetrack and i don't know that's really all they gotta do is walk to the right and they win i don't know what's up with the npcs and really wanting to walk to the left maybe in the next race slash competition i do with the npcs i should make it go to the left but why 
watch in that video they're gonna be walking to the right all the time i do want to note that these pistons up here from the project logic mod have crashed my game at least 20 30 times while trying to make this video so uh if a video or a race restarts just, just know that's the reason why it's because of those i don't know why but having those active for a certain amount of time just crashes the game randomly and it happens way too often now we're getting to the point to where npcs will literally just stand still for 10 minutes at a time i don't know why they do this npcs are really really stupid and each terraria video i make you know i usually learn something new and uh, i definitely learned i hate npcs a lot more after this video patricia is on the move she's going for the end out of nowhere she just turns around oh my god patricia you are so close literally no one else is making any progress why is everyone else just literally standing still patricia just finish it and Patricia, the grandma, who would have seen it? She makes it to the end before anyone else. Literally, the sea serpent and the diver man, they, they legit just didn't move. We are on to the fourth and final round, but we will take our final contestant and put him into the finals with the other three. So let's see who is in this round. Starting with our first contestant here, Joe. What a great name. Moving on to our next one, Rattles Magoo, the skeleton merchant, somehow sneaking his way into this competition. Next up is Angela. And last but not least is Fargo from of course fargo's mod all right let's do it the fourth round the last round to contend for the finals let's do it three two one and they're off now hopefully we see some of these npcs move because i've noticed a trend of npcs liking to stand still if rattles magoo wins already this would be insanity we got angela actually starting to make a move oh but she kills the golem and turns around oh she's off again will she kill the golem again she will kill the golem again and walk her ass right back. Oh, Rattles Magoo just giving up. Angela, yet again, doing the same exact strat. Oh, but she's... Oh, okay. Oh, she's she's making progress this time. She keeps killing the golems. I, I don't know why. I tried my best. I don't know why she's even doing 2,000 damage. Uh, all NPCs when I were testing were doing a lot of damage with their weapons. I don't know if it's a mod I have installed or what, but they have been doing a lot of damage, and they kill literally every single mob I put there, or they get killed by the mob. But Angela, she's just at a shooting range, it seems, at this point. I've noticed that Joe, the architect at the top, has snuck his way into the last quarter of the map, last third of the racetrack, and uh, let's see if he actually moves from there. Because I've noticed, obviously, we've noticed throughout this that there's a trend of NPCs walking the opposite direction. Rattles Magoo, though. He may finish this race before anyone else does. Every single race, except for the first one, has been finished by the person that's in the red track. So, Rattles Magoo, I'm going to put you back a little bit, all right? Because we want someone to finish on a different track. But if Rattles Magoo finishes this track and he's the one that started at the beginning twice, then he kind of deserves it. But it looks like Angela is going all the way to to the end and there we go everybody ladies and gentlemen we have our fourth round winner rattles magoo feels robbed he's probably gonna kill me in my sleep we are here with the fifth and final round the championship who is gonna take it all and move on to the npc olympics well let's meet our contestants that won the previous rounds starting with pip that's not his name his name is clive this time the clothier lucy the grandma they changed their names they, they didn't want to have the same identity except for angela and grodax so our four finalists here from the previous round they're gonna go back at it most of them have the same exact racetrack except for uh my boy up here the clothier but let's do it let's put it in action all right they will begin in three two one begin the finals now whoever wins this is moving on to the npc olympics you heard it right where npcs will compete for their lives okay maybe not their lives but they will be competing for a championship medal that will do something i don't know what they, they, they will, they'll put it up in their homes or something but as we can see the goblin tinkerer moving in to the last half of the map already the last half of the racetrack already and he's making great progress but then he does what all npcs do on that track and they run the opposite direction i have no idea why they do it like i said npcs they're not the smartest things in the game patricia on the red side moving straight for the finish now i should mention this is a best of two whoever wins two two total no matter how many rounds it takes you gotta win two then you win the whole thing and patricia taking home round one great start for patricia she has a 1-0 lead now if she wins the next one she takes it all home she's going to the npc olympics but as you can see the npcs have switched which racetrack they're on and you may be like at this point game readers some npcs have not won in that racetrack lane yet but let me let you know that i have done extensive testing and each of these racetracks are doable it's just whether the npc wants to move or not you may have noticed that i changed this top right one to shorter 
shorter pistons because I don't know. I saw an NPC finish this twice during testing with the longer pistons, but it just seems like they don't want to move for some reason. I don't know. The NPCs are really weird. Like I said, they don't like to move. Sometimes they just go straight to the end, no problem. Other times they just stand still for like 10 minutes. And believe me, the rigorous testing I've done, NPCs have stood still for 10, 15 minutes. But let's do it. Round two. If Patricia wins this round, she takes it all. Three, two, one, begin. Which one of our finalists is going to make it? So I've noticed that the red track is definitely one that consists the most winners, but every single track is one, but the purple one in this race. Like I said, they're all doable. It's just whether or not the NPC wants to actually do them. The goblin tinker making a rush for the end, not turning around to fight him. Oh, he turned around to fight him last second. And now he's going backwards. Sad to see it. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. The cloud, the air doing what all NPCs do, getting to that last point in the green track and then just sitting there and doing absolutely nothing oh man the goblin tinker was so close to the end and he just decides fuck my life <laughs> i don't know what's up with that green track and npc standing right there like their ai is broken or what but like i said we've seen npcs finish that track the goblin tinker beat that track in the first round so i don't know man this npc's just not thinking oh the clothier heard me he heard me talking and he's so close do not turn around don't turn around oh he turns around and now he's gonna be stuck on the treadmill of death patricia at the top starting to get a move on the grandma npc you know i had hope for her during her round and she beat the round and she also took the first round of the finals so you would think that she could easily just dominate the competition everyone is so close the goblin tinker was so close the claw they are so close and they're just letting grandma take the lead back oh she's going for it she's running like she's oh and then she stopped she stopped maybe a little fatigue since she is an older woman you know it's very understandable and she's going the opposite direction we have three three npcs that are so close to taking it home. Do they want to? No. Is it going to be nighttime by the time they do? Probably. We just need one of these NPCs to literally walk to the right for like five seconds. Not even five seconds for the clothier. He walks to the right for like two seconds. He wins. Let's just take a look at Angela though and how she hasn't moved after having such a strong contender round. She just doesn't seem to want to participate in the finals. Maybe she knows that there's going to be some shit going down in the NPC Olympics. We got another rush here to the end. Patricia! Oh my god, what encouraged her to just run straight for the end? I've never seen an old woman run that fast. She's going to the NPC Olympics. She is our finalist. She's going to the NPC Olympics. Let's have an interview. Patricia, what do you have to say about your dominant performance here in this first NPC race? Come now, sit down with your D grandma and tell me about your day. She's asking me a question now, which is very odd. So yeah, congratulations to Patricia, the grandma from the cosmetic variety mod slash furniture food fun mod, whatever you want to call it she's moving on to the npc olympics which we will have later this year or eventually this year sounds like a long time from now but you know what i mean it'll be later on we gotta have more rounds for more npcs to contend for and maybe we'll see npcs from this race over there now as you can see every, every single racetrack was completed like i said the racetracks are all doable i tested them multiple times they're all doable with npcs it's just a matter of if the npc wants to walk to the right and not walk to the left constantly and patricia she beat what she beat the red she beat the purple this should be green i don't remember but all four of these tracks were completed in this video now, i'm surprised piston highway you know our purple track she beat that one which is insane but like i said i did change the pistons to be shorter but the longer ones worked during practice when i was testing everything it, it, it worked i don't know the, the npc just didn't want to do it but yeah i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope you guys were honest and stuck with your votes i voted for the grandma in what the third round and she won which is very surprising i honestly didn't think she was gonna win i thought i would curse her by voting for her but yeah, I'll see y'all in the next video. We're almost at 100k subs. I love you guys. Make sure to hit the sub button if you haven't. I'll see y'all in the next video.